oh, I got finals with SMU when I get back, and it's gonna drive me insane. I just, I've been procrastinating too long, and it's already the end of the semester, and it sucks. It's like everybody get that feeling like, oh, you know this works, so it's easy work, so you push it off, and you're like, oh, but well, there's never that many. There's never that many steps, right? To the project or anything like that, so. And then, like, you realize you put it off for too long. And that, I'm mostly talking because about this because I have, like, depression and running back and insomnia and anxiety and panic attacks. And then I have really bad migraines that cause me to black out. Same way if my belly gets too nauseous. Then I'm sicker than a dog because I get the hangover after the migraine, you know. So it makes it hard for me to like twist and turn the pages that I need in a book or something for class. And it gets hard for me to stare at a screen. Now I know I need to get glasses with my main um, papers, my eye paper, and my reward is going to be um, an all access pool pass because you know that helps me. Because that's like, I don't know, I just said that, but. Um, does anybody else find it difficult? I think, like, the only thing that I really find difficult is all that reading because I like to take notes. And, you know, I do vocab and words that I don't know. I look them up and then write them down. And it's so hard for me. Like, yeah, I'm a fast typer, but those are long chapters. And it can take you forever, you know. So, it's just one of those things. And then there's, like, the discussion posts. Like, does anybody get frustrated with the discussion posts? Like, the teacher will tell you a good job, but then, like, or she'll give you, like, a grade and you don't understand. And then when, like, you email her, she does, uh, she or he doesn't reply. And it's just, like, um, what did I do wrong? Can you tell me what I did wrong? Because I'd like to fix it for the next thing, right? But, um, it's just one of those things. It's, like, and I, and it's the same way with, like, um turning in like a rough draft of your final paper or um your final project some teachers just don't like to explain exactly what you did wrong and that's the most frustrating part but I think the most frustrating part for me is I love the online thing and the you know week to do our stuff and but um it's like I wish sometimes the classes had physical books because then if I'm like holding a hospital appointment or I have to get x-rays done or, you know, I'm in the ER or, you know, on the road and, or away from my desk and the internet, I can still do my reading and my notes. And it's just so difficult sometimes because I'm like, come on, I want a physical book. You know, I'm lucky if we get a physical book. I think my next class is about science. I'm not sure exactly what it is called, but um, right now I'm in finishing up um, Humanities 1, I think. Uh, my teacher's Marta Fisher, I think that's how you say her name. Um, so, I mean, not to bang on her and solve her or anything, but like, I was hoping for like, since I've fallen so behind, did you like a game plan? But the only thing she says in an email is, follow the rules of the student handbook and it's like okay I do that but you can't give me like well you need to do this with like like say you needed to read the second week to understand the last final week of school but you never read the second week you just went through answered the questions and did the work like the projects and that you never just read it or anything and that's kind of where I'm running into and flipping back in the book. Like, I'm glad we can use it for our final and that. Like, I chose Pride and Prejudice, the movie with Kira Knightley and Matthew McFadden, and I chose the original um, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, the one that has, like, the 18th century talk and everything in it. Now, I finished that book so many freaking times. It's not even crazy. So I don't even really have to look at it for my references. I mean, if I like page numbers and that, but like, it's just one of those things where 
I just, it's so easy. It's like, I know, and I can, you know, I, I, you know, I do sometimes get a mind where, oh, if it's so easy, do it now, and then I'll have to do it later, and my weekend's free. But no, that's not happening. That's not happening. Sorry, she was twisted around the stop sign. Um, but here she is again. Also, hi, babe girl. And, uh, I don't know. And then, like, with my insomnia and everything, I'm just so tired all the time. Which you wouldn't think I will because I have all the sleep and pills that all my medication has, like, beware that this can make you drowsy. And I just, I don't know, does anybody else kind of feel like me? Kind of, like, you're not even, like, done with your first semester. You just started and you've already, like, got burned out. Yeah kind of what I feel but not really I mean I was excited to go back to school but it's like some of those courses you can't be excited for and then other ones you you, you can be and you can't and then it's like well with the ones you can't you got to make it exciting for yourself so it's just it's one of those things I think that every student feels especially like the drag and pull of the final week it's like do I really want to, you know, I want to push everything out, but I know some of it's going to be late, so am I, is it worth it still to get a, you know, a grade better than an F? Which, I mean, yeah, it is, but some of the work you think, well, I'm already going to get Fs on that. <laughs> so, so I like, but on the side note, before I wrap this up, I do like that when you're on staff appeal, you can go on to your next course and then you evaluate both courses together whether or not you can continue after that semester both through those semesters so it's pretty cool um i'm gonna leave it here with her, her sniffing about i'm gonna get her home get her fed and get her in bed all right bye everybody have a happy final last week of it's new till may 1st